women have played a significant role in our Corps of Cadets and legacy of leadership. In 1973, North Georgia was the first of six senior military colleges and federal service academies to accept women into the Corps of Cadets. UNG also assisted some of these institutions with their transition to admitting female cadets by providing a copy of our Cadet Rules and Regulations Manual, better known as the Blue Book. Today, women make up over 20% of our core strength and continue to make outstanding contributions on a daily basis. There's not many people who understand what it's like being a female in the military or in the Corps of Cadets. It definitely has its challenges, but I feel like it's my responsibility to the women who came before me, who actually made it possible for me to be here to fight hard for the women who come after me. I think something that sets women apart in the Corps of Cadets is you can't give up. It is a male-based field, and when you go into the Army, it's the same thing. I think the biggest thing is even if someone looks at you, they say, you can't do this because you're a girl. Like, you have to show them. There is no spite towards one another here. It's one of those unsaid things that we all keep checks on each other because there's so few of us. And so having that tight community and knowing everybody is inspirational and seeing how they're all succeeding in their different ways, it just makes you want to be the best that you can be. Being a woman in the court has allowed me to learn a lot about leadership and my leadership style. You have a responsibility to the people around you and understanding that unconditionally you're there for them and you're there to serve them. And those female leaders, they want you to succeed. And so they're gonna try to give you the best steps they can to put you on the right track. The core at UNG is very special. You actually have the opportunity to learn and grow as a leader, not only in the core, but also on the regular student side. UNG is a senior military college that lets you be a part of Greek life, clubs, have an outside job, and that's something that I think should really be not taken for granted. I think that there's something for everybody, whether that's specialty units, Greek life, extracurriculars, just going out there and trying new things. Even if you decide that it's not for you has been my biggest takeaway. Being a cadet at UNG has made me realize when you have a support system that's really behind you, don't take that for granted. That's not something you get everywhere. And use that support to the best of your advantage because if you didn't have it, imagine where you would be. A lot of times people tell me that when they hear about the stuff that I do in the Corps or just in the military, they say, oh, I can never do that. If I looked at myself now, when I was in high school, I would not believe where I'm at right now. It's just been an incredible journey. Coming in, I really had no idea what direction I wanted to take. And so discovering all these things for myself and coming into the leader and the person that I am now has just been really amazing. Being in the Corps is like being in a family. And so I always have a good group to come to and to know that they have my back. I've loved it here. And not a day that I've regretted coming to UNG.